how can we be advantage makers together? How can, what, what do I have to do to change this? What's the different situation here? Because right? you're being, you know, the thing about it is we're all being judged all the time, you know, in terms of work situation. And you judge, the judge does, in terms of leadership, do you have good judgment? Do you have the judgment to be able to make the right decisions? And that's part of it. And being an advantage making leader is creating the right decisions to move things forward as often, more often than not. I guess maybe be, it's somebody who can take the best advantage of the current situation. Um, whether that's a real bad situation or an okay situation or maybe a really good situation, is how do I leverage mm -hmm. and take advantage of, uh, of what I have at my disposal? Right. Right? Yeah. I think that that's really the key here is being able to change the, how you approach these difficult, these obstacles. Instead of being bewildered by this obstacle, how can you shift to interact in this situation such that you get a different result rather than doing more of the same? So that's a great... Um, that's a great thing to be thinking about as we go into these working sessions, Thanks. by the way, that, um, you know, we are. I mean, it's obvious from the presentations, you know, over the last day and a half that um, we're not in the greatest position at all to respond to um, uh, all, the, uh, all the products and all the technology development that the business units are asking us to do. Um, you know, do we throw our hands up and complain or do we try and find some way uh, to become advantage makers and leverage what we do have to optimize the outcome. So, mm -hmm. Being able to take the stuff that you, that you have these constraints, right? Creating superior outcomes in the face of constraints. That's what advantage makers do. Influence outcomes, uh, spot opportunities, being able to spot the unexpected, being able to create those things is absolutely essential. Were you going to say something, Dan? You need to find out what those constraints are. How can you relate to the constraints in, a, in an advantage-making way, right? So not getting stuck by them, not getting closed down by them, but finding ways to create. Like, if you look at Steve Jobs, the situation, right, in terms of the music industry, there were lots of constraints there, and he made a huge solution. You know, the, the iPod is just an amazing product that comes out that solves all kinds of problems, yet in the midst of constraints, people are able to solve things.